Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Windbridge or also known as Response Bridge voice amplifier and Bluetooth speaker, the model S619. So let's get into it. So let's look at the box first before we unbox it. Um, on the front you see original amplifier, shows the speaker, talks about it on the back, on the sides. Um, it's a 16 watt speaker, it has a 2200 um, milliamp hour um, battery. Charging time is 3 to 4 hours. Um, the speaker size is in millimeters. Um, and it talks about the features, has a QR code you can scan. Let's open it up now and see what actually is inside. So, you get your this marketing material and shows all of their different speakers, amplifiers, and other products. It has the speaker, obviously. So, as you can see, it's about the size of my hand. So small, compact. It comes with various other things like this manual also comes with the charging cable um, USB type A to micro USB it comes with a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter aux cord and it comes with a loop like um, strap thing that you can connect to these um, two metal they look like rings or arcs so you can have the strap on it and the box also comes with this microphone which is supposed to be a big part of this um, set it feels pretty cheap, really plasticky. Um, it's a wired mic. The cable isn't very long either. Obviously, if you're going to be carrying the speaker with you, it doesn't need to be very long. But it is rather short. Really cheap feeling. It wiggles. And when you bend the, the mic to different positions, it almost sounds like it's breaking sometimes. But anyway, that's the build quality of that. So let's go back to the speaker and actually um, examine it deeper. Um, the cable is a nice addition. Um, it's not super premium material, I'd say, but it works. The speaker is plastic and it doesn't feel super high quality. So obviously this is one of their cheaper speakers and more budget range, but I'm just saying it does feel cheaper than some speakers you may have interacted with. On the front, Obviously you get the Winbridge logo, the speaker, and on the side, which would be the right side for you guys, um, it has the light, I think, to show it's charging. It has a DC 5 volt plug-in, basically micro USB, and it has an aux input and mic input. On the other side, you have nothing. On the back, you have nothing except some various information. But on the top, this is where it gets exciting. You have on off, which also serves as your volume, just depending on how much you move it. You've got a USB port. This can actually play um, thumb drives. Uh, you got a TF slot, it says. Basically, I think you play SD cards. You got your mode light or music light. Um, there's an on off light here. There's a mode button. There's fast forward or skip forward, um, play, pause, and reverse, go back. Basically, so now that we know that somewhat of the controls, let's actually turn it on and see what it's like. So it's just a dial you turn, and that also serves as your volume, like I said. So for you guys, turning to the right is the loudest, turning to the left is quieter and quieter and quieter until it's off. So let's first connect it to Bluetooth and try that out. And how you do that is you push the M button for mode. Bluetooth is waiting for a connection. And it tells you Bluetooth is connected. And I've set it up already so it connects automatically. So let's play a song. But before we play the song, um, you may notice if you listen carefully, there is noise that isn't from my device. It's just from the speaker that is unwanted. Kind of a beeping noise. It's kind of hard to explain, but digital noise is a way to think of it. Maybe some fuzziness, but I'd say kind of a beepy noise. So that's unfortunate. Let's play the song now. This is Sky High by Electronomia. So as you have listened to it some, 
You can tell it's not like super full, um, bass, etc. Obviously with all speakers, the louder you go, the more distorted the sound is, but this doesn't sound very good at high um, volumes as one might like. It also could use more bass and more full sound, like not just certain sound ranges, but all the properties of sound. Low, high, bass, etc. So overall, not the best quality of sound I'd like, like I said before. I wish it had more bass, maybe a more full sounding um, music or sound quality. Um, it doesn't have the complete gamut of sound qualities a speaker should have. That's unfortunate. It obviously is a budget speaker in their lineup when you compare it to all of their other speakers and amplifiers in here. But for the price they have for this, it should sound better than this, I think. Although I'm not an audio expert, um, I wish it sounded better. But let's try the other modes that it has, like the USB mode. We'll push M, and then we'll plug in this USB drive. USB flash driver playing. And this says USB flash driver playing, which is a little weird. Um, it shows a green light instead of a blue light with Bluetooth, which is cool. And it works surprisingly pretty well. There will have to be certain file types, obviously. So obviously read the manual instructions before you attempt to do some of these modes because they require proper file types. But overall, a nice experience with the USB drive. Um, let's try the buttons um, on top. Play and pause, skip, and rewind. There's only one song on here, so that's why it only does that. So USB mode, um, it's a nice mode to have. Um, as CDs are becoming less and less, some companies have opted to make USB drives, so it is a thing. I don't really have the need for it, but it's a cool feature. Same with the SD card, I'm not going to show it on camera, but that is a cool um, addition as well. I like the feature set, microphone, Bluetooth, SD card, USB drive, so on feature set wise it's really good. The basic controls are pretty simple. The volume and on and off is also pretty simple. So I like the feature set, just wish the music quality was better. It needs more bass and more full sound and so. But I like the features. Like I said again, they're great. Let's try using a mic. So make sure you have it off Bluetooth. And then, this isn't wireless, so it's a simple setup. You just plug it in the mic plug. And make sure you don't get the mic and the speaker closed, because there'll be feedback and that's not pleasant. Make sure your mic is fully connected. Like I said, this is pretty cheap. Wish it was better quality in that regard. But this is adjustable. Just warning you, it does sound like it's breaking sometimes when you adjust it. So just be careful. It's connected. Let's try actually amping my voice up. Hello, 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 hello. So this is the loudest the speaker can go. I'm sure you can tell my voice is louder. But there is a little feedback at times. You want to make sure this is as far as away as possible. Um, if you get them close, turn the volume down really quick. But anyway, that's the sound of it. If I, if I point it to the mic, it makes bad noises, so don't point it at the mic. That's when the feedback really starts. Obviously, as the presenter, I can't hear the quality as well, so judge it for yourselves and see how you like it. It's obviously not professional quality, so this is just good for... Um, more recreational activities, I'd say. But one thing I thought was kind of funny was that on the box it said, for teachers, tour guides, instructors, youth counselors, professors, clowns, which I thought was pretty hilarious, elderly and who have soft voice. So they're really marketing the voice amplifier side of this. Um, as the name says, original voice amplifier. Doesn't really talk anything about it being a speaker until you look elsewhere so that's what their main claim is for this and it could have a better sound and a better quality mic in my opinion for being the main feature but it is cool that it's part of this um, many speakers for this price don't have all these features or a mic so that's really cool so overall I like um, this feature set of this device I like that it can do USB SD cards um, that it has a mic it can do Bluetooth has a strap, it's small, light, portable, um, so I like that. The build of it though isn't as great, um, especially the mic, 
Obviously, this is the ch one of their cheaper ones in the lineup, so that might be why. But for the price, it could probably be better. As for sound quality, the sound quality of mics um, and the sound quality of the music, the music should have a deeper, uh, more bass sound. Some might say it should have a fuller sound. Um, the mic, obviously, gets feedback fairly easy, but that's just a common thing with mics. So don't point the speaker at you while you're using the microphone and keep them as far apart as possible, but it could have a better sound. Obviously, this is basically a consumer product, so you're not going to be able to sound like somebody would at a concert or some staged event because you have limited controls, but it could sound better for what it is. So yeah, I like the feature set. I like the compactness, the lightness, as far as portability. But the build quality, especially in the mic, could be better. Speaker, it's not bad, could be better. Um, sound quality is the, my probably biggest issue with this and the build quality of this. But anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please leave a like. You may notice I'm using a different um, setting. I hope you like it. And thank you so much to Winbridge um, slash Response Bridge for um, giving me the opportunity to make this video. I really appreciate it. Um, my review of this product, just take that and I hope you guys can improve the, your product. Um, as far as consumers and people who are considering buying this, um, you heard for yourself what it sounded like, the feature set and build quality and what my thoughts were on it. So um, choose wisely on whether to purchase it or not. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video and have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.